the Silesian Blues Trail. Good morning and welcome to all of our listeners. Today, my guest is Jan Gawach. Janek, you're a violinist, a composer, ninefold instrumentalist of the year in the survey readers of the quarterly Your Blues and multiple winner of the National Forum Blues Neighborhood in the category Miscellaneous Instruments. But above all, you are also co-founder of the Blues Silesian Route. How did it all start? Jan said, The trail was started by Wojtek Mirek, who figured out a long time ago that this is what he wanted to do. But this was never a time for that, maybe even people who could help him out with his ideas. At the same time, probably the most helped by the association Katowice City of Gardens, who very enthusiastically approached Wojtek's idea. First of all, they supported him with grants, financial help, and also the mayor of the city was very favorable to this music. And so, Wojtek has it figured he'd make a trail like this. Then, as I recall, the final of all was going to be a concert. Plus, he invited me to lead the team. Lecturer said, Oh, can you tell me more about those memories? What was it like? Jan said, It was sweet. We met with Wojtek at a luncheon at the pub. We had various flowers on the table, candles. Lecturer said, And the concert? Jan said, Initially, the plan was so that different Silesian musicians, if it wasn't strictly one team, just a little bit we ripped off each team individually. The representative who played with us uh, made a list of songs that were quite well known in Poland and they were works composed by the Silesian artists, but also by hands which now exist and are young bands. They are no longer as well known, for example, SBB, Jam or Cree, each of these musicians played, mixing a little bit of style, really. Because, you know, jam, it's not blues to me. Just for me, they are rockers. However, everyone throws in. Well, you know, it's red as brick. Well, that's the blues. So each of these musicians had to play songs of their colleagues, and he didn't play songs. There was such a ruckus after the two racks. In total, we played 18 songs. Lecturer said, was it a draw or everyone already made an appointment with each other? Who plays which song? Jan said, no, there's never a draw. There is no democracy because as you play in a team, there is little democracy at such large ventures. Then the fights begin. You know, I'd like to play this song and including the other one will come and I'd like to be in this and I'll say no because it's someone's game. But you let that one go. So we, Wojtek and I, were just doing the set list. We said in what song is to be given to a musician and they were getting those songs from us in which they are to appear. Lecturer said, So you were mostly in on it, the first concert. Jan said, Anyone, me and Wojtek, we always sit about nine months before the concert where there is already a plan. Wojtek always sets himself up what he would like, what the subjects of the given concert, already has some ideas for the song. We invent what musicians would have to give to the concert, and I'm here to keep my mouth shut, so to speak. Lecturer said, From the first concert to now, to this point, where are we? What has it changed? Jan said, Musicians change in addition to the so-called house gang, because here we have a regular crew who always plays with me, to at least the drummer, bassist, that this does not have to change if we have guests. These guys will change, but the team is always the same one. Sometimes it's bigger, sometimes it's smaller, it depends. We had COVID now. The funds were cut. We had one drummer last year. There are usually two drummers. We had a trail where he was Jorek Piotrowski and Andrzej Ryszka. They were our guests, plus I had my two drummers in total. They played four drums. So we had a couple of songs that they played, lecturer said. Did the pandemic get in the way of your plans? Jan said, quite strongly in that you could not invite that many artists. Last year, it was possible to do so. So the concert was for 200 or 250 people. It was supposed to be online, but it worked. And the last moments of tightening have decreased a little bit. Well, there wasn't enough money left to do that to make it as big as we used to. 
We had to reduce the number of guests to four, and before that, we were about ten. However, it is usually possible to invite a celebrity, star. This year, the surprise was Kasia Kowalska. Lecturer said, The Silesian Blues Trail turned out to be quite a large project. There is an entire website on which I encourage our listeners to come by, where they are described, first of all, clubs, places, and artists. But also, you have created a mobile application. Jan said, Yes, Wojtek worked very hard on it, so that the trail is also on the application. This is a very interesting thing, because this application allows you to approach places where clubs really are no longer existing. There's only a sign, lecturer said. For example, the Eikant Club, which I still remember. It was one of my favorites. I'm sorry over this. Jan said, exactly. There are places where there is a sign that there was something there. Thanks to such a map, these people can walk and see where Rishek performed, where the Pulse Club was, what he sang about. They can walk up and see what kind of place it was. I don't know if it's normal. You can enter. But through the windows down there, you can see it wasn't all such a big, powerful place. Just a small club, in that all the musicians just sat on. Lecturer said, This application is quite interesting, because after it, I was going to put it that way. Actually, there is a map with mark points, former clubs, but also there are 30 places where you can check in, and the person who will check you in, 30 seats, reward awaits. What's the prize? You going to tell me something? Jan said, some discs have been made available, which now you can't get, and you can't buy them anymore. Lecturer said, a great option is also that by clicking in a given place, just like you said, they were pictures like pubs, clubs, but you can also find a short biography of musicians, you can listen to songs, you can also find the places where they have stayed. Jan said, you know, these musicians here in Silesia have been staying almost in most of these clubs. Lecturer said, a small environment? John said, I don't know if it's small, just then you get very much, it was all about the music. The music worked well here. People like to go to clubs. You could play, you could play all night long. People came, so the clubs were full, because everyone was there. Lecturer said, let's get back to you. Where did the blues come in from your life? Jan said, it's hard to say, just the blues, but I was little, you know, I have a pretty big family and older brothers. Lecturer said, did someone give you a bug? Jan said, I don't know if I could say that. He had been contracted, like I don't have a choice. If someone at home is listening to jam, the Allman Brothers Band, from young, you just hear this. Lecturer said, it's in your blood. Jan said, then let's agree that it's after it just is. But it's also true, such as to whether it's rock music, whether it's blues rock, whether it's already even blues. It's like that for me, very melodious music. So it suits me very well. Also looking at this, I'm a classical musician by education. I also played in an orchestra in high school. I played a lot of classical stuff. Well, it's entertaining music after all. The type of blues or rock, it's similar to what it's in the classics. There is a lot of melody. And let's also agree that many rockers, or far even without looking, Hendrix, they listen to a lot of the classics. Hendrix, for example, listened to Vivaldi. So everyone is out there. He drew a little from these harmonies. Of all this, the canon in the classics. Lecturer said, Ladies and gentlemen, this episode is over. But we're not saying goodbye to Yannick yet. Welcome to the next podcast, where we can talk more about Yannick. We'll zoom in on our listeners, your activity, your annual Christmas concerts, Leshni Chufka, and I invite you very much cordially to visit the site of Silesian Root Blues, and not just the fans and our listeners. I recommend downloading the app. You can walk around Katowice, visit several places, and I would like to remind you that this person who will check in at 30 pubs will win a prize. Thank you for today, and goodbye. This project is funded by government budgets. The podcasts have been read by Braden Buddy.